plyometrics. What does the term plyometric mean? Plyometrics means plyo, which is more, and metric means measure. The two put together imply force production from a physiological standpoint in a very short period of time. When you produce force in a very short period of time, you're producing power. And power is the basis for all sports activities. You need it to be able to generate enough amount of speed. So too for a runner, we are going to focus on plyometrics, which helps you develop necessary amount of strength to propel yourself forward in what we call as the stance phase or the push-off phase for a runner. What we'll focus on is the, the quads, the hamstrings and your glutes to evolve this series. In this exercise, you need to have your hands behind your head, prisoner style, and go down into a squat, a deep squat with your thighs parallel to the ground, and then explosively spring up into a jump and come back landing on the ball of your foot back into a squat and keep this rhythm for the required number of reps. The split lunge is a power lunge, just like what you do in a strength lunge. You need to go down deep into the lunge with both your legs at right angles and your trailing knee close to the ground and explosively spring up into a jump, switch legs and land into a lunge in the other position. You do this in rhythmic fashion for the required number of reps. The sumo squat, you ensure you have a wide base with your legs, your feet at 45 degrees angle, hands on your hips and go down into a deep sumo squat and then spring explosively up and bring your feet together and go back into the sumo squat in a rhythmic fashion for the required number of reps. The squat jack is just like what you would think of as a jumping jack. The only difference being that you assume a squat position, but the squat position that you assume can be a half squat. Assume this position, extend the hands out, and then move as shown in the video rhythmically for the required number of reps. The vertical jump is just like a normal jump. The required cues here are that you have to ensure that your knees are not bent too much, which means that you use most of your power from the Achilles tendon and spring up with sufficient amplitude into a vertical jump, land back and quickly explosively spring up again. You do this for the required number of reps. The tuck jump is a more intense jump. The intensity of the exercise is such that you jump up and bring your knees close to your chest, land onto the flow and explosively spring back up to bring your knees up to the chest again in rhythmic fashion for the required number of reps. The single leg hop is more or less like the normal hop that you do except that in this situation you hop forward and backward in rhythmic fashion. Make sure that the amplitude of the forward and backward movement is sufficient. You just do it for the number of reps that is indicated to you. Just like we've done the single leg hop and it is shown to you for the forward backward movement, the requirement here is that you hop laterally from side to side and which really puts pressure on the ankles. So you do this in rhythmic fashion and explosively move from side to side for the required number of reps. This is part of the running gait form. You run in place, but the focus and attention is on bringing your knees up as shown to you in the video. Your elbows need to be tucked in and your hands should move in rhythmic fashion in the direction of the run. This is much like the skip that you normally do, except that it's done in a traveling fashion when you normally do it. But here in the video, we show you how to do it in position. You skip on one leg, explosively move up and land on the other leg and skip back up 
for the number of reps shown to you. The goose step swing is a plyometric exercise again meant to improve your running gait. The idea in this particular step is to use your hip flexors explosively and move into a goose step as shown to you in a rhythmic fashion for the required number of reps. The Cossack Swing is the last in the series of plyometric exercises and is again meant to improve your running form. You keep your elbows tucked in, make sure they move in the direction of the run and here we focus more on the